The first lecture will discuss sensory transduction, getting the message. And now to introduce our program, the president of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, Dr. Pernal Chopin. Good morning. Welcome to the 1997 Holiday Lectures on Science. All of us at the Howard Hughes Medical Institute are very pleased that you could join us here today. I want to say hello not only to you here in the audience, students at the Greater Washington Area Schools, but also thousands of people who are out there watching on television and on the Internet. No matter how you're watching these lectures, you're looking at my face and listening to my voice, or at least I hope you are, but how does your brain know what your eyes are seeing and what your ears are hearing? How does it make sense of light and sound and do it with such unbelievable speed and accuracy? That's what our lectures are going to discuss today and tomorrow. Jim Hutzpeth and Jeremy Nathans are both excellent speakers, and they're going to help you make sense of your senses. They'll be taking you into the realm of neuroscience, which is one of the hottest and most fascinating fields of all biomedical research today. We have learned an enormous amount about the brain in recent years. In fact, a presidential proclamation has declared this to be the decade of the brain. You'll hear during the next two days about many of the discoveries in recent years, and you'll also learn about the new questions that have emerged, questions that bright young people such as you may help answer in the 21st century. We have come to understand in considerable detail how brain cells develop, function and communicate with other cells and how they process information with startling efficiency. We are even beginning to understand some of biology's deepest mysteries, such as the basis of consciousness and the mechanisms of learning and memory. Jim Hutzpeth and Jeremy Nathans are two of the world's most productive neuroscientists. Jim studies the mechanism of hearing at the Rockefeller University in New York City, where he heads the Laboratory of Sensory Neuroscience. Jeremy focuses on the neurological phenomena that enable us to see. His laboratory is at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine in Baltimore, where he is a professor in three departments, neuroscience, biochemistry and molecular biology, and ophthalmology. Both of these researchers are investigators of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, or HHMI for short. This is the nature's largest philanthropy with more than 320 investigators and their teams carrying out research at 72 sites across the nation. The Institute also has an extensive grants program that is devoted to enhancing science education at all levels. These lectures are, of course, part of that grants program. We began these holiday lectures five years ago in order to give students an opportunity to hear about the latest biomedical research advances directly from leaders in the field. So on behalf of HHMI, let me extend you a warm holiday welcome. We shall now show you a brief video to introduce Jim Husbeth, and then after that, Jim, our ears are all open. My interest in science was really pretty much self-generated. There weren't other scientists in the family. Uh, but uh, I was simply curious enough that I tended to explore the environment, which at that point was relatively pristine, and by encountering animals and by encountering other uh, interesting pieces of the environment, I built my own interest. I think in terms of my 